What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Not Enough. I just had to step out of the house to take a break. I'm gonna hit up the local Goodwills in my town and see what we can find. Let's get on with it. All right, coming up on the first Goodwill. First, I see a thunderstorm, but it was the same sun faded one I've been seeing. Man, I would love to have this, but not in that condition. One of these salt blasters for the flies. I think Busby invented it. This is one of the earlier models. Pretty cool. Gonna put it right back. Don't really need it, though. Thunderbow that has been here for a few weeks now. The string was kind of soiled on it. Didn't really need it, though, so I put it aside for now checking out the next goodwill this meteor which was red tagged i had seen it a few weeks ago but now it was finally time for it to go on red sale half off so i'm definitely going to grab that meteor and then i see a bag of toys with a sonic green maverick looking right at me as i peek further into the bag i notice that there's a boomco twisted spinner in it a pair of ryan's dart tag i think these are called the panda six and raider six blaster combo and then i see this again slippery wise rebel stuff always so slippery it's a charmed bow this is a four shot ar bow if i didn't know this thing was so rare i would have totally taken it guys but my girlfriend's only collecting rebel blasters and not bows i see a quantum by adventure force dart zone was revving okay everything okay but 9.99 price i'd rather wait till purple is half off and then guys drum roll for this one just a week after i find the barricade i find a stockade this is the ultimate one guys this one actually shoots streamlined darts the luck with this thrifting stuff sometimes is just crazy you'll go to the store and find absolutely nothing and then other times you'll find an absolute gem i'm gonna go ahead and grab this meteor that i had put aside since it was half off for two bucks and i took a look at this end strike long shot but it's nothing i really needed so moving on i had just been to two goodwills nada the third one the perfect example of why you just can't give up a lot of you guys message me talking about you guys are so lucky out here or out there man i used to look at the guys in ohio and texas these guys turning down stripes on the shelf because they already had like 85 of them at the house let me tell you something it looks like that sometimes but it ain't always like that and out here it ain't no different you gotta be very patient and you have to have perseverance i had no idea this was gonna happen i still have one more goodwill to go there's four in my town let's go to the last goodwill and hope we get lucky one more time all right guys moving on to the next goodwill and we see a half of split strike i did find the other one i've never seen the battle camel series that was kind of cool flash combat kind of cool adventure force slam fire variety busby older four shooter another clash combat put them together for lord's work cool little cyclone shock i see these a lot more often they're kind of like the disruptor for mega i've been seeing them a lot more often older air warriors six shooter keep seeing different variations of these it's always cool to find all the generations of these that ever existed roto fury i see these off and on kind of like a surge fire for mega zombie strike crosscut it's kind of like a strike fire but a dual ar variety it's got this cool little finger dynamo operated circular saw on the end and then a dual barrel ar kind of cool another raider cs10 predecessor to the rampage i believe pretty decent shape the stock was definitely awesome didn't think i needed one of these right away so i put it aside to think about it definitely another vulcan without the chain i see these without the chain all the time saw a lot of accessories at this store without a price on them including this nice big 35 round drum wasn't sure how i was going to go about it yet so put these aside for now and then i decided to keep looking through the shelves and then i see an alpha hawk these are kind of cool kind of like the raptor strike but specter version with a revolving drum instead of a mag cool to see different variations of these longer guns from nerf found another mag put it aside to determine what strategy i'm going to go with for taking all these accessories a bow strike first time i ever come across the guys this is the coolest little blaster ever you pull the plunger back and it deploys the arms in the sight i love it saw one of these air max ones that i picked up a while back but this one had a leaking cylinder so i left it coming back up to the top level and i see a sonic green praxis what are the chances i find a sonic green maverick and a sonic green praxis in the same thrifting episode i was definitely going to take this i think it was like 2.99 right behind it some long shot accessories including an outer barrel some kind of modulus barrel maverick kind of cool and then i see this guys an end strike raven fire the very very first one i believe correct me if i'm wrong had some modulus attachments on it too dollar 99 <laughs> i can't make this stuff up so i grabbed the drum that had no price on it put it in the raven fire and kept on looking found myself a nerf rival atlas 16-1200 shotgun this thing is awesome i've seen them going for about 50 to 60 bucks online i think it was 2.99 at this store definitely was gonna take that looking around at the next shelf and i found one of the old school nerf hyper 
Super Fire. These are pretty cool. I think I've seen this one at the store before. The Prime worked perfectly, but I ultimately I didn't need it. Busby Tech 6, the older variety, kind of cool. I think I left that on the shelf. Found another one and I Lord's worked them right back together. Now this store was full of bangers for sure. Found a Tri-Blast or I guess the rocket launcher attachment for a Tri-Blast. It's kind of cool. It's like the stock Prime's rocket and fires it. Found the Nitron scope, so I decided to put the Nitron on the Praxis and the Red Dot on the Raven Fire. So that way I got a bunch of free attachments included since they didn't have a price on them look into the lower shelves i see a nerf modulus regulator very very cool system has select fire not a big fan of the mag being so forward it gives it kind of like an awkward grip but after considering it i ended up just taking the mag that wasn't even the right regulator mag and my girlfriend went ahead and hung on to that sometimes we get them free at the register amazing haul so far and then i couldn't believe it the one out of two dart tag blasters on my thrift bucket list guys the swarm fire orange trigger albeit finally stopping at the ollies we didn't see any ruby darts but we saw this sea dart blizzard it's a 76 round hand cannon drum thing that is fully automatic and it was only 15 bucks so you know i was gonna grab that checking out another section and we got some x shot crushers for 10 bucks not too bad of a deal and then we moved on to the next goodwill before heading home this one had a couple cool things i saw a long shot had some problems but i left it on the shelf ultimately another roto fury is in pretty good shape but I don't need any more. Then I saw a Duminator. These are always cool. I still haven't picked one up, but not in a hurry to. Perhaps maybe when it goes half off on sale. Thought Busby Cyclonic. Always cool to see these with the mags. Seemed to not work, but probably either the batteries were dead or it didn't have batteries to begin with. So I went ahead and put that right back. Adventure Force Hyper Spin. Nothing hyper about it. I like the Flip Fury better because the cylinders fully flip. These just kind of like halfway flip. See a sharp shot. So nice and sleek. I love these. I always pick them up when I see them because they're not that common. Then I saw a Nerf Commander. This one actually it was Blue Day. It was half off. So I said, you know what? I can use a second one. I already have one at the house. And then I found all the dart tag darts that pertain to that sharp shot. I was really happy that they're my first dart tag darts. So I went ahead and grabbed those. First stop that I made, of course, I got the Meteor. This is an amazing little blaster. I got that crazy bag of toys, which included the Sonic Green Maverick. This is actually my first one. Let me know if you guys have any special edition Mavericks, what colors you have and which ones are your favorite. But this was pretty cool. Included in that bag as well was the Boomco Twisted Spinner. These are pretty crazy. They shoot laser beams. These things are a lot of fun. I can't wait to put some around in this thing and check it out. Pair of Ryan's Toys Blasters. I believe this one's called the Panda 6. And this one's called the Raider 6. Our first ever stockade. Now this thing was really, really nasty as far as the corrosion. It was even worse than the Varicator. Everything works fine. This one actually sounds better. I have to ask Maritime about that. He's the barricade stockade specialist. But yeah, I'm really happy to have my first stockade. This one actually shoots streamlined darts. Let's get it. Let's go with the bow strike. This thing is actually so freaking cool. Pop it open. It deploys the bows and the sight. Now this is end strike, believe it or not. This is not even end strike elite, but it's great color. I love that turquoise blue combined with the black and orange. The bow strike guys a variety of accessories red dot i believe these used to come in a kit called the modulus stealth upgrade kit which would also come with this the muzzle attachment that came stock i believe on the battle camel strife correct me if i'm wrong it also included a folding foregrip which i don't have with me right now i probably have it somewhere i believe this is the mag that goes on the raptor strike i remember them being either six shot or ten shot mags with this slant this mag looks really cool if you're using it on a minimized strife or any kind of minimized blaster this thing was nasty guys when i say nasty this thing had sand inside and out it had carbon buildup it had corrosion flywheels had a whole bunch of dirt on them this thing now looks like it came out of the showroom of hasbro headquarters <laughs> the praxis guys <laughs> This is the Sonic Green version. I found this Nitron scope, which everything works. It's just a little bit banged up. I might even do a custom paint job on it. This is one of the coolest Nerf scopes ever made. Atlas, this thing is pretty awesome. It's a shotgun. It takes the normal clear mags over here. Every time I find them, I find them in team blue, but I'm not complaining. I got this 35 rounder that was out of the frame earlier. It's probably the biggest Nerf mag that I now own or drum, I should say. So that's really cool. This target came also in that bag of toys. I already got one of these, but it's nice to have another one. Found my first Swarm. 
warm fire. Now this thing I also cleaned up. Now the only one I need for my thrift bucket list is a blue trigger variety. Picked up this commander. Last but not least of the thrift finds, of course, we got the amazing sharp shot orange trigger variety. You could still do a minor upgrade and it's a lot of fun. I went to Ollie's of course, and I picked up this Blizzard 76 dart hand cannon drum thing. $15 at Ollie's. I couldn't believe it. I remember seeing this thing for like $50 or $60 at Target. Shout outs to Alan Carey. Alan Carey, if you're watching this video, shout outs to you. Alan Carey commented in my previous Blaster Bargains, tipped me off about the new X-Shot Dino Strike colors. Alan Carey, thank you for confirming that this was indeed a new set of blasters that exist. I went ahead and also picked up the little kickback version, the Extinct. Of course, I picked up the 2022 Meteor. If you guys didn't see my short video on it, gorgeous blaster. It's got like a deep, deep navy blue with that white there's no way to go wrong with that i want to thank you for all that you're doing to help grow this community the likes shares and subscriptions but mostly the comments and interactions with each other none of this would be possible without you and i'm extremely grateful and motivated to bring you more content once again thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one